Okay, so we know childbirth hurts. A lot of large gift from a small box, and all that. But there's not nearly enough discussion about what happens afterward. Aside from pain associated with the uterus contracting back to something resembling pre-pregnancy size, there's the burning and aching caused by the stretching, and sometimes tearing, of the perium during delivery. Best case scenario, this will generally involve some discomfort for three to five weeks after a vaginal birth. In the case of a tear or episiotomy, surgical cutting of the area, pain and sensitivity can persist for six weeks or more. So how to relieve it? Most midwives will recommend ice packs for the first day or so. But according to US mum, Eliza Castellanos, there's another relatively simple, soothing DIY solution. Padsicles in a Facebook post that's been shared over 123,000 times, the nanny and mother of one provides instructions for preparing cooling sanitary pads coated with a solution of aloe vera and essential oil. To all my pregnant mummy friends, you'll want to make these before you go into the hospital. Padsicles, popsicles for down there to help with the recovery, she wrote. About to give birth. Monique Boley and Beck Judd discuss everything you need to prepare. Post continues below. You'll need, what to do. Remember, hygiene is crucial, especially if there are stitches involved. So take care when preparing handling and storing feminine hygiene products. Mato Mother's Hospitals recommends changing regular sanitary pads at least every four to six hours to keep the wound as clean as possible. For relieving perineal pain, they suggest. In 2018 Mamma Mia is launching a new community called Later Startups for women who work for themselves or dream of doing so someday. We are already on Instagram, come join us at Later Startups and we have big plans to help women grow their businesses, turn